guys, welcome back to the channel. So we got a few um, frequently asked questions to go through. Finally, somebody's taken an interest enough to ask a question, so stick around and we'll try and answer it. So the first question comes from Michael and he says, This isn't related, but is that a Yabella shirt? on the back wall. Yes, it is Michael. I'm an uh, English guy living in Canada and uh, we're from Leeds. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's my excuse for the Yaboa shirt. Vern says, Garage Band works on an iPad and it's a powerful tool. Yeah, Garage Band will be just as good to use as a um, as a door, as the studio one that comes with the comes with the uh, amp, the Spark amp. I'm talking about, um, it's just that I never really use GarageBand, so I think with Vern's prompt in there, I might take a look at that and see how that works. But if there's anyone using GarageBand, just comment below and tell us what you think compared to Studio One Point Five or One Five. Randy says, I went to the link and saw the video, but he didn't explain how to get personas. Nothing on the positive grid side. I purchased my Spark. Is this something new or is it only new to customers? It's probably just new to the customers who are currently buying the Spark, new to guitar, new to recording. Um, I've actually now put a link on the description to the um, to the web page where you can download uh, Studio Studio One, and from there you can um, use videos on YouTube to work out how to use Studio One. If there's anything I'm not really good at, that's explaining IT. So get yourself some videos under your belt, learn how to use it. It's a great tool. Just uh, just. Get it, get it. It's free. Just use it. But like I said on the on one, on the video, one of the videos I've got, I use the Studio One as a looper, so that worked well for me. <clears throat> and John says too much work for too little. It's it's a bit of work in the beginning, just to get it loaded. But then once it's loaded, it it's pretty simple once you sat there and you're using it. It's it's very intuitive. So. Just get there, just get it on and get and use it. So Aaron says, <laughs> Am I going mental or is this guy mental? It's not an effects loop, it's just a marker loop in the door, which you can do on any recording software. But for anyone that didn't know, then I guess this is helpful. Well, thanks Aaron. Yes, it can be helpful for people who never used it before. I didn't know there was a marker loop in, in, all, the, uh, in all the other door software. But now I know I'll I'll look out for it. That that's if you use any other software. Maybe the garage band that we were talking about just before. So uh, yeah, it's going to be useful for people who've just picked up the spark and a guitar and want to record what they're playing and loop back over it. So hopefully that answers a few questions. Um, we'll see how this one goes. If anybody watches it, we might do a few uh, questions. Uh, regarding other things or more spark questions okay till next time guys stay safe